<laughs> Good evening. Call the West Main Township Board of Supervisors meeting for December 2020 to order. Roll call. Jordan. Here. Shardle. Here. Over. Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please note that all supervisors' public meetings are subject to public and or private audio and video recording. Is there any public comment on agenda items? Please note that public comment will also be received during each agenda item and at the end of the meeting. Entertain a motion to approve the November 10th, 2020 study session and regular meeting minutes as presented in our packets. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Roll call. Jordan? Yes. Charlotte? Yes. Bobart? Yes. I'll entertain a motion to accept the treasurer's reports for November 2020 and approve the payment of bills in the amount of $133,402.12, subject to audit. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? I think we had some equipment repairs in this that helped. And, and we had a forty thousand dollar repayment to ourselves. Yeah. Plus the, for the crushing. Dump, for the new Mac truck. Right, and the crushing. Yeah, for the millions. The millions. Yeah. yeah. Okay, roll call. Jordan? <coughs> yes. Shardell? Yes. Bogart. Yes. Municipal reports. We'll start with Police Chief Chip Brown. Good evening. For the month of November, we received 68 complaints, and all 68 were taken care of and cleared. There's four hours spent on traffic in the school zones, 115 hours spent on traffic watch and patrol time in the township, 71 and a half hours spent in the office. There was 10 hours of arrest and processing time. Uh, 38 and a half hours spent on investigation time. Seven and a half hours spent in court. Four hours of miscellaneous time. Uh, there were 18 traffic stops for the month. Uh, three citations being issued for unregistered vehicles. 15 warnings were issued. Two for speeding, one for stop sign, six for faulty equipment, four for unregistered vehicles, and two for high beams. There were 38 investigations conducted for the month with one uh, non-reportable accident. There was one burning complaint, seven animal complaints. Five times we assisted other police departments. Three times we were assisted by other police departments. We assisted fire and EMS four times. We answered one residential burglar alarm. Uh, we assisted one disabled vehicle. There was one call uh, request to speak to an officer. One call uh, received from the general public. Uh, one court uh, subpoena service. Four fingerprints uh, requests were, were done. Uh, there was one DUI investigation, two drug investigations, one possession of marijuana, one drug paraphernalia, one arrest on outstanding warrant. Uh, one false report to law enforcement, uh, two fraud investigations, one criminal mischief, two theft of services, uh, one uh, weapons uh, investigation under the PICS program, uh, five disturbance calls, one trespassing call, four harassment complaints, one hit and run, there were two suspicious vehicle calls, one suspicious person calls, and three behavioral calls. Uh, there was one felony arrest, five misdemeanor arrests, one summary arrest. Uh, the summary arrest was for criminal trespass. The misdemeanor arrests were for the theft of services, unsworn falsification to law enforcement, and two drug offenses. And the felony arrest was for the firearms violation under the PICS program. Uh, 
total miles of police vehicles was 1,584 miles per month. Any questions for Chief Brown? The, the high beam thing, what, what is that? I mean, is that somebody that oncoming doesn't courtesy? Well, it doesn't do turn their high beams off when they're coming to you. Okay. Yep. So, so is that a is that a warning or is that a citation or does it in depend this case, on the... In this case, it was two, both of them were warnings. Yeah. So they must have their high beams on coming at Officer Palka and never bothered to turn them off and so he yeah. stopped them and to see why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just one. Yeah. Right. I read in the Tribune that the City of Meadville's noticed an increase in drug related incidents and also uh, civil disturbances. Have you seen that trend in West Mead Township? It's starting. Yeah, if we go back into the if we go back into the stay at home order, I'm fairly certain we're gonna start getting those calls again. Yep, it's coming. You usually get an influx because of the weather. You know, with the snowy weather more people stay home. But uh, I'm fairly certain that not only the weather but you know, dealing with the COVID and if they do the stay at home order and that, you know, people are gonna probably start drinking more and those calls are gonna Increase, start increasing again. Certain areas, or is it all over? It's all over. Right. Yeah, you can't pinpoint it to a demographic. It's it's all over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chip. Uh, John with the road report. Uh, from November 10th to today, uh, actually we had four days of actual winter uh, that had us out plowing snow or putting salt down on the roads and then of course we had some, a, uh, some time in mixing salt and aniskid to get prepared for those four days and then uh, due to the heavy snow that we had we had some cleaning up of downed trees on uh, Tamarack Drive, Williamson, Charter Road, Liberty Street and Terrace Street and uh, we actually still have a little bit more cleanup to do but we're uh, kind of into a couple other projects right now but uh, uh, we had a fair amount of trees down. Uh, we've, at this point, uh, we're, we're about done with our vacuuming of the leaves on both sides of the township. We are not quite done. We still have a few piles here and there. We have some leaves in uh, a number of ditches that need to be cleaned out. Uh, so we're gonna, if we get a break here where things thaw a little bit and the temperatures come up, we will try to get that last little bit um, of, of leaf collection done. So if, if you have anything, why well, maybe call in and let the girls know. And, and uh, But I think pretty much so we have the most of it done, but we do have some small amounts to get yet. Uh, cold patching, we've uh, been cold patching right along here this fall to try to get ready for winter. Any potholes that might have uh, came throughout the summer. Uh, We've also been repairing berms and shoulders on both sides of the township to try to make sure that our roads are safe for you know the winter travel. Um, we also had a number of, of plugged culverts, drains, uh, uh, and ditches that we needed to, to open up after we had some of that heavy rain and then of course the snow. And then we also finished getting the uh, trucks ready. We had one truck left the, which was the oldest truck we have that had to have uh, a number of repairs done to it. It had to have springs and brake chambers and numerous repairs made to it. But we have now, everything is converted for winter. Uh, but uh, we had to have uh, some transmission work had to be done on that. Shifting tower had to be rebuilt and all that stuff. All the equipment's ready to go. It's converted over. Uh, and then uh, currently, as of today, or in the last week here, we've been uh, removing all the excess asphalt, tar, and debris off the trucks, steam cleaning the chassis, you know, looking for anything else that might need to be repaired. We try to, at least twice a year, to de-grease the trucks, wash and completely wax and buff these trucks. 
to, you know, take take care of, you know. Uh, so we're currently uh, doing that. We also started uh, doing the uh, police cars. We did the uh, Tahoe, and we, we're going to do rods. We have to do a service on rod car tomorrow, uh, which is oil and everything, and tires and whatnot. And then uh, we had to. Uh, uh, pull the drains apart in the garage. So we had a fair amount of building maintenance, lights, and stuff like that that needed to be fixed here in the building. And uh, we had some problems with the drains in the shop, and we've got them opened back up. So uh, that's pretty much so our month was trying to get ready for winter. So uh, other than that, that's about all I have. Mike, any questions for John? Not at this time. Okay, thank you, John. Jill with the zoning report. For the month of November, we had two um, storage shed, residential storage sheds, permits for $6,300. It was a pretty slow month for the actual permits, but we've been doing a lot of background work with people that are wanting to apply for permits. So I think um, usually this is a kind of a slow time of year, but we've got a few nice projects coming up. Okay, any questions for Jill? No. Okay, thank you very much. Item number one on the regular business. I'll entertain a motion to ratify to approve the Coronavirus Relief Fund governmental recipient agreement between Westmead Township and the Crawford County Commissioners in the amount of $29,703.33 for the additional reimbursement of expenditures that were incurred due to the Coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. I'll make that motion, John. I'll second. Any discussion? Jill, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Explain it in a little more detail? Um, sure. The county, Crawford County, um, had requested that if anybody had any expenses or wanted to apply under the CARES Act, whether it be the federal, then the state, then the county, it's how it kind of came down. So we had applied and we had got some funding, a little bit of funding early on, and then we just received this amount. You had signed, stopped and signed the agreement, and then, um, uh, so we're ratifying that tonight, the agreement that you signed, and then we, they had to pay out by the end of December, I think is the date, so that's why they went ahead and did everything. Um, so this is just to be in compliance with all the uh, procedures in the CARES Act. Okay. We're just one of a number of uh, municipalities that got the same thing, right? Yeah, a lot. You had to apply for it. It was right. like a sort of grant, but it right. was it was relatively easy. They made it very simple to go online and do it and submit, and so um, everything was done, and then. Obviously, they all, they looked at everything and then did the reimbursement, sent the payments out, and then it all have to go through probably the audit period, that kind of thing after the fact. Mm -hmm. So it's like a typical grant application. Okay. Roll call. Jordan. Yes. Charles. Yes. Bober. Yes. Second item: review the proposed 2021 budget. Hold a budget hearing for final review of the proposed 2021 budget. And nothing has changed since our last meeting. It's the same budget that we made a motion to advertise. And it's $1.3 million general fund budget. Mm -hmm. We into discussion right now. Yes. Um, again, I'm the hearing for <coughs> budget here. Yeah, we we've, we've spoke about this in the past, and I just think it's only fair to the residents of Westmead Township to realize that you know we we we've, we've done uh, as much as we possibly can with with this budget, and. Uh, <coughs> It's it is coming down to the wire where we're we're going to have to make some adjustments in the taxes, the tax base in Westmead Township. Uh, 
I mean, we know it. We've been putting it off, and um, I mean, I, I don't. I want people to be prepared. I want them to know. I want them to ask questions. If there's something they want to know or something they don't understand, uh, but I want to be as upfront as possible with people. You know, no different than what I like people to be with me. Okay, I want them to, to tell me, and uh, I, want, I want to be upfront with the residents of West Mead Township and. and explain whatever it is they have questions on or whatever but uh, I believe that we're going to be faced with some increasing of taxes uh, soon Mike no it's you know there's never a good time to raise taxes but this year with the COVID now I I just can't do that to people I mean knock on wood Everything is the status quo right now, and we're holding our own right now, and that's a good thing. And hopefully, I mean, maybe next year things will stay the same. Maybe we won't have to, but I mean, my, I mean, the prices, the prices of material, everything is going up, up, and up, and it's not stopping. And, and I mean, but, the problem that I see, Mike, and that is, I, I mean to interrupt you, but I just, you know, and we talk about it on a nonstop basis, the condition of some of our roads are getting to the point where, you know, you've got to do more to maintain them. Or you can't just keep raising roads up and adjusting driveways. You know what I mean? You can't keep doing that. Sooner or later, you're going to be forced to mill and pave or, you know, try to keep the road surface. You know what I mean? And uh, it just costs us more to do that and you know every, everybody likes to have a nice blacktop road but it there's there's a cost behind the service and cost behind the maintenance to these roads and equipment to keep these roads you know, you know it's uh, I just want to be up front with people if we are faced with that I just feel that, that, that we need to be as honest as possible right up front that's my thought. Well, I'm glad we've up all the tax line this year. And we're not going to raise taxes and give people as much break as we can give them. Because, I mean, this has been a trying year for everybody, I believe. It has. And I, hopefully this is, we've seen the worst of it, I hope. And maybe next year we'll look for a better outcome of next year. I'm hoping that's what we're going to see. So. Well, I agree with you. There's never a good time to raise, to raise taxes. and I would like to see us avoid raising taxes as long as we can and try to live within our means. I think we do a really good job of living within our means right now. I'll, uh, I'll be the one that might, might be the no vote when it comes to raising taxes because I don't, I don't think that's in our best interest. I want to do what we can to to try and attract families and businesses to, to move into our township and to increase our tax base that way yep. rather than having to raise real estate yep. property taxes. Is there any any public comment on our proposed 2021 budget? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-10 adopting the 2021 budget and resolution number 2020-11 setting the real estate tax millage for 2021 at 4.25 mills i will make that motion second you need discussion on the motions no. roll call Pardon? yes Arnold? yes Over. yes item number three I'll entertain a motion to approve resolution, excuse me, resolution number 2020-12, authorizing the borrowing of $60,000 from the Westmead Township Capital Reserve Fund as authorized under ordinance number 1999-4 for the purposes of the purchase of a new 2020 JCB backhoe 
with an annual reimbursement payments of $20,000 to be made from the Westmead Township General Fund for the next three years. I will make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion on that motion? We're just we're borrowing from ourselves because of the uh, essentially the, the low return on our, on our investments right now. It's cheaper to borrow from ourselves than it would be to go to a bank and borrow the money. And we will pay it back to our capital reserve fund just like we're doing right now with our the money we borrowed to buy the last Mac dump truck. Any other discussion? Nope. Roll call. Jordan? Yes. Charlton? Yes. Oh, right. Yes. Last item of regular business, uh, I will entertain a motion to approve resolution number 2020-13, authorizing the sale of personal township property pursuant to section 1504 of the second class township code for the sale of the 2009 JCB backhoe with attachments and bucket to Eastmead Township for $38,000. I'll make that motion. Uh, or second. Any discussion on that motion? I don't think uh, No, not really. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Eastmead Township is uh, uh, in need of a newer backhoe, and uh, they've always been. Uh, satisfied with the backhoes that we've sold them in the past and they've actually bought the last two or three and uh, um, they are, are uh, satisfied with the fact that they're going to be able to update like I don't know, 10 years or so here and of course they don't use a backhoe quite as much as we do so this is perfect for them. Yeah, I just have one question. Do, do we need to pass a motion to buy a, the new backhoe at some point in time? Well, that's kind of the motion to approve the resolution, the uh, one before. The one mm -hmm. yeah, okay. And it actually, it's in the resolution to actually purchase the, okay. I mean, if you want to change it, you could. No, no, that's fine. Oh, you covered it. It's covered. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any more discussion on this motion? No. no. Roll call? You may. Uh, Jordan? Oh, we did the motion. Oh, we did the motion. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you had made the motion okay. and John Second. had seconded it, correct? Yeah, we just oh. need a roll call. Yep. So Jordan? Yes. Charlotte? Yes. Bogart? Yes. Okay. A couple notes. First one, we received a $200 donation from the Kiwanis Club of Meadville to be used towards future projects to be completed at Oak Grove Park. And our reorganizational meeting will be on January 4th, 2021 at 5 p.m., followed by the regular monthly meeting. So that is earlier than normal. Yeah, we normally yeah. meet on the second Tuesday of the month, and that is the first Monday of January. Is there any public comment tonight? Supervisor's final comment, Mike? Um, I want to wish everybody a happy holidays. Um, I know it's going to be a different holiday for a lot of people because you can't be with your loved ones, but uh, stay safe and stay clear of everything so you don't end up with the COVID. And uh, hope for a happy and prosperous 2021. Thank you, Mike. John? Uh, the only thing I have is I just noticed that the, that the last plowing that we had. Now, we didn't have many people complain about it, but I noticed as heavy as the snow was, it really rattled some mailboxes. And uh, boy, if you if you have a little bit of a, a breather here and you're thinking about your mailbox or it's leaning one way or another, maybe get out there and tighten them up because these wet, heavy snows are pretty tough on them. And uh, maybe work with us to try to keep your garbage cans back a little bit as well because I know that there were some that were actually out on the roadway and uh, it's pretty difficult for the guys to, I mean they could drive around and do the best that they can but still yet you have snow coming off of a plow and a wing and it can send those garbage cans sailing and 
you know, our average plow speed is between 20 and 25 mile per hour. But when you multiply six inches, eight inches of snow coming off of a plow, you know, it's pretty unforgiving. So just, just a heads up there to remember it's winter and uh, try to fix those mailboxes up if you can. Uh, we'll work with you as much as we can as well. So that's all I have. Okay, thank you, John. I'd like to wish all of our residents and all of our businesses a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and make the best of it. Uh, with that, I will entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make the motion that we adjourn. Second. Is there any discussion? Do we need an executive session for anything? No time to no? Okay. No executive session. <laughs> no. Roll call. Jordan? Yes. Shardle? Yes. Bogart? Yes. Thank you very much. Happy holidays.